tell a friend to tell a friend she's back <laughs> Hi guys and welcome back to my channel if you're new welcome and if you're a returning subscriber hey my darling so guys i know you're probably looking at the title of this video or the thumbnail and you're just like girl what's happening but welcome to the first official episode of life nuggets with b and basically what the segment is on my channel is just like me giving you tips and tricks of stuff that i wish i knew before getting into different things basically um and disclaimer i am not a professional this is based on a true life story <laughs> this is based on my um life experiences and i feel like a lot of us are in our 20s 30s 40s even trying to figure out what the heck is life and i feel like there's a lot of things that i've learned um which i can share with you guys so that's basically what it will be there's going to be different segments i'm going to have guests i'm going to be alone so yeah it's going to be fun so if you have anything um that you think uh you would like for me to talk about within this segment please do comment down below and i'll get into it yeah so <laughs> this first episode is basically well this first video within this segment is basically about things that you need to know before getting an apartment or when apartment hunting right so guys as you know i am living in my own apartment and there's a couple of things that i wish i knew that i feel like are very important for you guys to know if you are happen if you happen to be embarking a journey of looking for an apartment there's just a couple of things that you need to know so without blabbing all about let's get into it so the first and the most important thing that i want to tell you guys is be realistic <laughs> honey when i tell you be realistic i mean have a budget be sure of what you want when you're looking for things so in essay if, for example if you're looking for an apartment in essay you can go on to different websites like property 24 private property even google searches but those honey you'll see very beautiful places so you need to know how much your budget is you need to also be realistic with your budget because sometimes you feel like you can tweak it and go an extra thousand but that thousand goes away within the month so just know what you want be realistic like read reviews look for reviews there's an amazing website that i found actually when i was looking for an apartment and it's called hello peter basically you will search um hello peter or you'll search the apartment name and then type hello peter there's literally so many different reviews and it's important for you to read reviews before or after you see an apartment because the people who live here will actually tell you like the water cuts weirdly or the power the whatever there's a lot of things that you need to know that like estate agents or agents period won't tell you from the jump because they're trying to you know sell you to take the thing so be realistic and read reviews be strict with your budget right and then another thing that you need to know is also the kind of space that you want right so if you're a first time apartment hunter or like space hunter you need to know whether you're looking to have like a bachelor studio type vibe because that's what i have currently right and i feel like it's fine for me now but i know over the years i'm going to get sick of it because but this kind of setup it's literally just an open space right so your bedroom your living room your dining room your kitchen are all in one space right so if you're someone who gets irritated coming goya edijo like different smells from the kitchen that would bother you but for me it's like i can easily crack open a window or whatever so you need to know the type of space that you want um also just know whether you want just a shower or a tap because there's barely ever both if you're starting off and if you're looking for like a first time place if you have the rack if you have the budget go ahead babes get you a one bedroom two bedroom where one bedroom has a shower the other has um a bathtub and then guys another thing that i actually realized i should have researched a little bit more before getting into my apartment is prepaid water and prepaid electricity now if you're living in Botswana or south africa you know that masisi and cyril's economies are up in the air so 
it's very important for you to when you're looking at apartments or looking at different spaces to understand whether the unit that you're getting into has prepaid electricity or prepaid water prepaid water is very cheap guys from the couple of months that i've stayed here i haven't had to buy a lot of water but electricity baby electricity baby and guys comment down below if i'm doing something wrong because electricity is something that i buy i think bi-weekly every two weeks i am buying 100 rand 200 rand 400 rand 500 hey and it's very expensive if you come to think of it so let's say your rent is um 1.2 i'm just giving a random number i pr i wish we could get into um apartments that affordable let's say your rent is 1.2 obviously the agent when you ask them okay this is a prepaid electricity unit how much in a month do you think i would spend obviously they're going to tell you like 150 which is true for water but electricity you're cooking you're switching on the giza daily your fridge is on daily so obviously you're going to have to buy more so you find yourself spending 1.2 on rent 150 on water and probably like 500 rand or 500 bula on electricity so whenever you're budgeting just always make sure that you understand whether you're going to get into a prepaid type situation or the water and electricity is embedded within the rent which is something that i personally i'm going to look for in my next apartment because this honey is too much like i'm going through it i don't even know maybe you guys can advise me on what i'm doing wrong i don't switch on my geezer for that long um sometimes i switch off my fridge which i know is not good for her but like she be eating my power so that's something you need to take into consideration another thing that i've realized in south africa actually is that there's like extra costs on top of your rent every single month so there's levies and stuff like that it can be 200 300 400 so they will advertise saying that your monthly rent will be around 4.5 but keep in mind what well, that may be 5000 because there's um at a cost that they wouldn't exactly say on the website or anything Just to note, whenever you're looking for a place, yes, you can look on like internet sites and different things, but it's also like very um, important for you to keep your eyes open whenever you're driving around. Scout for places that you want to stay in. Um, and it's very important for you to like be wary of the facilities and places that you can access easily like malls like transportation especially if you're a student if you are working just make sure that wherever you're trying to live is near work or near school so that you don't have to live at a very beautiful place that you absolutely love but it's like 500 miles away from your apartment or place so it's very important to find a place where you can easily access transport and easily access malls especially malls because guys you know us within the month or let me go get some milk so it's very important for you to be able to access these places very easily because it's not it's not affordable for you to be taking cabs or ubers every single day on top of the rent that you're you're paying for plus the food that you're paying for plus the water that you'll potentially pay for and the electricity so you need to be very aware of that um another thing actually that i would like to talk about within this video is that guys save up save up i feel like that should have been the first point save up to the point where you know that you can buy a bed and a fridge and a microwave and a kettle and utensils right so i think it's very important to save for the big things like obviously your first rent your deposit your bed your fridge the main things but then small things like pots or your kettle or your spoons or your glasses try to lay by them sometime in advance or while you're still staying with your parents your family buy them as you go when you get paid or once you get your allowance from wherever you buy a, a pot set or lay by a pot set and pay for it every month while you're chilling um, at home buy some spoons some cutlery some everything because i came in here with a suitcase only i got in here with a suitcase only so i had to buy a bed i had to buy a fridge i had to buy everything that i have i'm still currently cooking with one pot <laughs> and you know what it's fine for now but i mean had I known then that whatever I had saved up wouldn't have been enough per se for everything that I need to have a comfortable 
and traditional and normal setting um i would have had to save a little bit more so yes save up of course save up for your rent save up for your bed bedding everything um but you just need to take into consideration that there's so many things that you need to purchase when you're a first time apartment um, owner or apartment tenant. Um, there's so many things like from your bedding, you need to buy a bed skirt, you need to buy a sheet, you need to buy a mattress protector, pillow protector, pillowcases, Corey, hey, it is a lot. So I really advise that you also write down a list, write down a list of things, say bed, fridge, everything, and each month, put a budget towards each of those things that you want to save up for. If you can, purchase them and keep them at home so that when you move in, all you need to do is just be moving things, baby, and not struggling and scrambling for Africa. And lastly, guys, I didn't want to make this video very long because um, I feel like there's still a lot of things that I'm still learning. It's very, very important for you to ask for help. Like, ask people who are well acquainted with the area that you want to live in ask them how the traffic is ask them how accessible transport is because when you go view it maybe it might be a weekend and everything is slow paced during the week everything is crescent so you need to know and also just um take your time i think don't rush into anything that you aren't ready for for me i had to rush it because i needed a place desperately do i regret it no i don't because i actually really love my space but i think i do realize a couple of things that i feel like i should have considered a little bit earlier before jumping into things so yeah i feel like i summed it up really nicely really quickly because i didn't want to waste you guys' time so being a first time owner of anything is very exciting i wish i could sit down and tell you about how would be to be a first time car owner but we were every fucking we're actually passenger princess that's what she is <laughs> so yeah if you have been through a process like this please do comment down below and explain how you went do it um if you had an agency i didn't have an agent i just raw dogged it i was on property 24 every single second of every single day private property browsing everywhere obviously i knew where i wanted to stay but i feel like i needed um some sort of guidance as to what to do what not to look for what to look for i hope this video was very informative for you guys and that you picked up a little thing like i said if you have experienced this very step in your life the very same step in your life please do comment down below advise me tell the people what i have missed in this video and yeah Good luck out there, kid. I will see you guys in the next episode of Life Nuggets with B. I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you're new here, please do let me know down below saying I'm new here, new savvy here. <laughs> Give me a huge thumbs up. Click the subscribe button and I'll see you guys in the next one.